What is up my dudes, we are back again with another video. Today we're going to be looking at all MLB teams City Connect jerseys. They haven't released all of them yet, but we're going to be looking at the ones that are currently released and seeing which ones are the best and which ones you should get if your favorite team's jersey looks cool. Today I'm wearing the City Connect for the Angels. This is honestly probably a top three one for me. The Potters one kind of has grown on me recently. The Texas Rangers one, which we're about to look at in a second, looks really, really cool. And that's actually one of the newest ones that have been released this year. As always, if you enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing. All right, so we're on the MLBshop.com website and I filtered it only by jersey, so that way we're not getting a bunch of different results that we don't want to see. So the first one, wow, there we go, is the Angels one. I mean, without a doubt, like I said earlier, it's a top three one in my opinion. It's very simple, but it encapsulates a lot of what makes LA LA. Even though they're in Anaheim, I get that. They got the wave, you know, for the beach. And just like the retro font, kind of reminds me of like California Angels, kind of a throwback there. And then even the number being like that dark graphite black color is just it's just a good blend the next one over to the right is the texas rangers one for a lot of people that were kind of hoping for something different i might be a little bit disappointing to you but to me i think that logo makes this jersey one of the best i think that that logo is definitely very unique to texas it kind of gives that vibe of what you expect from something like a Texas team. So let's like kind of zoom in a little bit. You see the T right there, Howdy. the X, and then it's got the star, like the like the spur of a boot, like a cowboy boot. So it's kind of like a throwback to, you know, the old times, I guess, the Western times, I don't know. So the 421 on the jersey is for Texas Independence. I just looked it up. I didn't realize that that's the reason why it was there. Um, but that's kind of a cool little throwback. And then on the bottom, it says Dream the Big Dream. So next, we're gonna do the Seattle Mariners. This one just released very recently, and this one, in my opinion, is a little bit underwhelming. I mean, it's cool. The patch looks nice. The font is kind of like a video game-esque font. The blue is really nice. Um, it's kind of like a, not really a royal blue, but a darker blue than that. The blue and yellow kind of complement each other really nicely, but kind of reminds me of like a minor league team. I mean, it's not a bad jersey. It's just for a city connect. I think it could have been a little bit better. The next one we're going to look at is the Braves one. I still am a little bit confused about this one. If you know the real reason for this, let me know in the comments. Why is it the A? Like the big A? I thought that was like the Angels' thing. The stadium was called the Big A. I don't know, you have to let me know in the comments down below if you know the reason for that. Overall, jersey is very underwhelming once again. I mean, it's red, white, and blue. That's their colors. There's nothing really to it besides that. I mean, the sleeves, I guess, have a nice little design there. The red outline is, you know, kind of saving it because otherwise it'd be just like their regular alternate jersey. Once again, like we're talking about, it's very similar to what they already have. So the next one we're gonna look at is Space City. I don't know, man. These ones have kind of grown on me a little bit. I like the the piping down the middle, the yellow, orange, and like, I don't know if that's a, I don't think it's red, but it's like a really dark orange. The Space City, it's not a bad design. I think they did a pretty good job with this one. And in the, and you're not going to see it when you're watching the players in the ball field, but go for launch is written on like the, you know, inside of the neck right there, which is kind of a cool idea. The sleeves are a little bit different, which kind of make it, give it a better contrast, I would say. The darker color, it's more like a, road jersey to me than a home jersey but nevertheless i think it's a good jersey the next one we're going to look at is going to be san diego we briefly mentioned this one earlier there's a lot of bright colors on this jersey and that's to celebrate the latin culture because there's a lot of that representation in san diego and in the state of california in general so the split san diego like the pink on top and like that teal greenish blue on the bottom is really nice. I really think that, that that's what makes this jersey so cool. The one pink sleeve, the one green sleeve slash blue or whatever you're gonna call that color. It's nice contrast. I think it's not like, it's not the best jersey out there, but I think for doing something different, because City Connect is supposed to be about something different, something you know away from what you normally do. You're not gonna wear this jersey every day, so might as well make it fun. And I really like what they did with the multicolored and not just making it the same boring color and you know even the nike swoosh is like that greenish blue color so i like this jersey let me know in the comments what you think because i've heard a lot of mixed reviews about this probably a top five one in my opinion the next one we're gonna look at is what in the world is this one serpientes as you can tell i've never seen this one before this one's a little bit interesting the kind of cargo ups looking 
design, not really my favorite. The patches are cool. I mean, it's got the state of Arizona flag on it. It's got the Arizona Diamondbacks logo. The font's cool. I mean, the font's not bad. I just think that that boring khaki color, it looks more like a road jersey. It doesn't really look like something you'd wear at home. I always liked when they used the purple and green. I felt like that was their best days in terms of their jerseys, but this one, it's okay. It's not my favorite. The next one we're gonna look at is the South Side. This one's Chicago White Sox, and I don't, I don't know what they were thinking. It looks like we're trying to recreate like the very, very old design, like of like the 1800s White Sox, because this is one of the oldest franchises that exist. And if that's what they were going for, then I guess you did it. I mean, you accomplished it. You nailed it perfectly because it looks like a very boring standard design that back in the day they'd be able to do. I don't know. If you're like a traditional fan, I guess that's a great one. But if you want like color and you want something exciting, not so much. Oh my gosh. Well, the next one we're going to look at is extremely discounted. So if you're looking to get this um, very nice looking jersey, that they have to audition as a Soto jersey because there's no memorable players on the Nationals currently, then go for it. $63.99, great deal for this jersey because this one is one of the best. In my opinion, this one isn't the worst, but it by no means is it the best. I get that the DC, you know, they're trying to, the, the blossom, the cherry blossom kind of thing, trying to represent that. If you look very closely, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, you see the kind of blossomy design all the way around it? Not a fan. So um, with that being said, let's move on to the next one. All right, Brew Crew. First off, I wanna say the first thing that jumps out is that bright, like almost neon blue. I, that's one of my favorite colors. I love that bright blue. I just think that Brew Crew could have been in a better font. On overall, this jersey, I like the colors of it, but I just think they could have done a better job with the font on the front of the jersey. All right, the next one is the other Chicago team. This one is for the Cubs and it's Wrigleyville. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever heard of people saying Wrigleyville. I don't know, maybe that's before my time. There's really not much to this jersey. I mean, it's very basic. It's just all like that navy blue and then the light blue on like the trim on the sleeves, which it's not bad, not really much to it. I mean, yeah, that's really all I have to say about this one. This one is a controversial one because I know that, I know the reason why they have it be yellow and have the patch on the side, but it's just really bright. You know, they're trying to honor the events that have happened in Boston, but for a City Connect jersey in baseball, wow, that's a bright color. Like it is like highlighter yellow. I don't hate it, I don't love it. I just think it's, it just is what it is. This one is probably the weirdest, and not like in a good way. Weirdest in like, bruh. Bruh. What were we thinking here? This looks exactly like the Dodgers jersey that is blue that says Dodgers on it. They just put Los in front of it and then just thought nobody would notice. Like, and then put like a splash of paint on the sleeve. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one. This one is bad. All right, the next one we've got is the Rockies. I just saw this one for the first time last week. I don't know, man. I feel like this is like a common trend of these. It's like it, a lot of these jerseys are not bad, but they're not fantastic either because the mountains, that design looks flawless. I really like it. I think it looks cool, but in my opinion, I know that that would be very similar to what they've had in the past, but instead of green, just do like purple, like you normally do. Like I think the purple would make it look a lot better and it would complement the piping on the sleeves. I don't know, this, and even the, like the logo on the sleeve, if I'm not mistaken, that's green. It's not a bad jersey. Also, just a quick note before I hop into the next one, the Orioles are set to release their City Connect here in the next few weeks. I will definitely be releasing a reaction video to whenever they release it because I know I'm gonna have some things to say about it. All right, the next one we're gonna be talking about is the Miami Marlins. This one's a little bit interesting. I think that they did a pretty good job designing it. It kind of gives me similar vibes to the Padres jersey, if that makes any sense, in terms of like the bright, loud colors. Not quite as vibrant, but that red just like pops with that blue color for the font in the Miami. I really like this jersey. I don't think it's, you know, by any means like complex or overly like, one way or the other, but I think it's a great jersey. And also, I know we already talked about the Rangers, but this is the number on the back. I really like that font. I think they did a good job with that. I don't know, man. I mean, like, I know that they were trying to... <laughs> the fog on the G, 
I mean, like, there's a lot of cities that have fog. You know, I mean, that's not specific to San Francisco. You could have done that on, like, the Cubs or the White Sox one. The bridge, I guess, is a cool addition. Overall, that G is just, like, that's it. That's really all that's going on in this jersey. It's very boring. Very kind of mediocre, in my opinion. All right, the Kansas City Royals. This one is definitely got some interesting things going on with it. The font is cool, that design. I mean, with the little crown there in the middle, kind of a nice touch. The back's very simple, just, you know, gets to the point. The blue font for the name and the white font for the number. Blue, like the dark blue that they use over the whole thing, it's, you know, very much what you picture when you think of the Royals. I don't know, I like it. I think it's a good jersey. I don't think it's, like, my favorite, but once again, hey, good discount on this one. I don't know, maybe maybe my taste is, is a little bit off here, but supposedly this one ain't good, but I think it's all right. All right, I just spent like another five minutes trying to find some more, but I think we got all of them. That was all 15 or 16 jerseys that are currently out in terms of City Connect for MLB. It's the Nike partnership with Major League Baseball, and they release these jerseys as a way to kind of just give like a jersey to represent the city, tie a bunch of elements together, and some of them were great, some of them were okay. So let me know in the comments down below what jersey you're excited to see get released here in the next year or two. If your team hasn't gotten one, let me know in the comments down below what you want to see on that jersey. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.